Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation Tutorial Series. In this particular video, we will talk about one question and answer regarding table. So without wasting time, let's start. The question is, why are field properties commonly adjusted at the element level instead of within the tables? We know that we can create fields inside the table directly by right clicking on the field node. But it is recommended that we should use the EDTs when we are creating fields of a table. So why is that? So why we should adjust it at element level? So you can see here the first point in this answer you can see the field properties are commonly adjusted at the element level instead of within the table because it allows for greater flexibility and reusability. When you can when you add an EDT or extended data type as a field to table, you open the EDT in the element designer to adjust its properties before adding it to the table. This approach ensures that any change made to the EDT are applied con consistently across all the tables where the EDT is actually used. And it is promoting a more modular and maintainable um, database design. Also, in this slide you can see base enum properties determines if the property should be displayed as a drop down menu or option button or a slider bar in the finance and operations app user interface edt properties vary depending on the type of edt such as a string integer date in case of a string edt uh, you can control how many characters can be entered in the text field also in case of Data DD, you can choose if the month and the day are listed as one or two numbers and if the year should listed as two or four numbers. It is best practice to leave properties set to auto so that the system can adjust the field as necessary in the user interface. So I hope now this question is clear why are field properties commonly adjusted at the element level instead of within the table so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye